done so i'm currently mid packing and i thought i would take you along for the ride like previously i would have done this as a bit more of a kind of swishy video to like fancy cutaways but i thought you know what i'm going to show you the real deal me actually packing for a trip real time as it happens no swishiness I love packing, I really really hate unpacking, I think that unpacking is up there with like loading a dishwasher, unloading a dishwasher, having to do washing up, cleaning the toilet, in chores that I really don't like to do. But packing I am completely into, I have my own packing lists which I will show you later on in this video and I just enjoy like the organisation and the planning of it all, it just completely, it appeals to my Monica side, I am into it. So I thought I would show you how I pack when I'm just packing hand luggage only because my parents recently went away to Rome, they actually haven't been abroad for a really long time on a flight and they just got all confused about what you could take hand luggage wise, what you couldn't. So I thought I would collate it into a video that I could share with them. So this video is basically for my parents. Parents, if you're watching this, hi, <laughs> this one is for you. And also just a good one to watch if you're traveling anywhere soon, there's lots of like space saving tips of how to fit the most in your suitcase without completely overpacking. So the trip that I'm packing for now is a trip to Greece. Um, I am currently there when you see this video. I'm coming back to the UK today. I'm sure I would have had a lovely time and it is a four day trip to Greece. The weather out there is pretty warm right now, obviously warmer than what we've got in the UK. So it's kind of a moderate sort of temperature that I'm packing for. And there's probably gonna be a lot of touristy things that we're going to be doing. Probably not so much like fancy going out outfits. I don't think I need too many of those, just very comfortable clothing. Um, but yeah, let's get on with step number one. So really the first thing you've got to think about is what you're actually using for your hand luggage. Some people will prefer to use a holdall, others a suitcase personally. I'm a suitcase girl, Mark really likes a holdall. I love this suitcase, this is from Away, I mentioned this in my September favourites. You can see how light it is, like I've literally just got it on one hand here and it's not too heavy at all. I just find that it's very light, it's very durable, it kind of stretches out a little bit, it's got a little bit of give in it, but really you just want whatever you take to be light because you don't want it to be taking up an allowance in case they do check the weight of your bag. And whenever I'm taking something like this, I like to take just like a small little bag with me, something easy that I can just put around myself. This is a little Celine number that I can keep in like my passport and any paperwork and anything that I need to get out at the airport. So these are the two things that I'll be taking with me on my trip and I like to take a bag that will also double up as my bag when I'm there. I've mentioned this before but I love this one because you can just pop off the front, turn it into a clutch so if we ever go out and I need like an evening bag I will use this but if not I will just use it as a little three trio during the day. So my second tip would be to make a list because I feel like that way you don't overpack too horrendously and also if you print it out you can pack it in your suitcase and then use it as like a little inventory when you come home to make sure that you've left nothing behind. And don't worry, I've got you sorted with this one because I do actually have a print out PDF. I've got it on my laptop here, but it'll be linked down in the blog post that I will have in the top line and description box down below, but it's like a little print out PDF that has everything on it, like literally everything from tampons to insect repellent. It is tried and tested. I've packed from this list many, many times before and I've never forgotten anything. And this way you just have a peace of mind that you've got everything that you need, but you haven't got like a million and one things that you don't need. I don't know how you guys store your suitcases, but personally I keep mine at the top of the wardrobe so it like lives up there. And obviously it makes sense to kind of fill it with things so that it's not just sitting there completely empty and taking up space. So I actually fill it with all of this. There's basically a million and one Glossier pouches. My parents were so cute. I gave them some pouches to take to Rome and my dad broke his and my mum was horrified. She's like, your dad has broken one of your pink pouches. I don't know what to do. I was like, don't worry mum, I literally have about 10 at home. And so these all live normally in my suitcase and it's kind of all of my travel bits. I like to keep a lot of stuff just kind of pre-made and ready to go. So this is like a little pouch that sort of has flight essentials in it, paracetamol, a sleep mask, there's a pen in there, there's some tissues, tampons, headphones, just kind of things that are handy to have. So I always have that packed and ready to go. And then in here, I put all of my miniature things because I feel like we're always getting miniatures and travel sizes and we kind of keep them, say we're going to use them for travel and then never do and kind of forget about them. So whenever I get a miniature or something, I'll throw it in here just so this is what I can pick from each time. And anything that isn't in miniature, I just bought these off of Amazon, like some little plastic pots and bottles. It was like a set 
that had all of these in and I just decant things like these are face masks which I wouldn't bother taking for like a four day trip if I was going somewhere for longer I probably would this is like a balmy oil thing I've got like an eye cream so these things are all in here and I've already actually pre-packed my toiletries in this pouch here so these aren't things that are coming with me this time but these are things I would pack like this is a San Jopay fake tan with a mitt round it just in case so these are things that I would pack if I was going away for longer or on like a different type of trip this is going to be very relaxed so I don't need to look too glam and fancy but I've just gone through and put all of my liquids into these Glossier pouches which I find tend to get through security all right I haven't been made to change them before um, but this I've just packed my makeup in and I've packed my skincare in as well and I just kind of checked my PDF as I went to make sure that I had everything in there. It's worth double checking this but when you are taking I think it's like liquids, creams, gels, any of those types of things in your hand luggage they need to be under 100 millilitres and be able to fit in a pouch that is around this size. So everything in here is miniature, small, decanted, there is nothing over 100 mils but like I said worth checking that one before you go because I know it can differ slightly. So my fourth tip is kind of the same whether you're packing hand luggage or a bag that's going to go down in the hold but I just think it makes it easier to find things when you get to your destination and it's just a bit easier to pack if you section off your suitcase. So for me in this cabin bag and actually the way that these away suitcases are formatted it makes sense to kind of put your non squishy things on this side. So I tend to put electricals, toiletries, shoes, all of those kinds of things on this side because as you can see there's no like compression or pushing down that can happen and I also just find that this is a good spot to put things that you might need whilst you're on the flight as well. It's just quite an easy spot to get to, an easier spot to open than on this side but here you're able to fit all your clothing in and you can kind of compress it down as well. You basically stick your clothing in there and then you put this on top connect up these straps here, tighten the whole thing, and that really, really pushes down. And then on top you, in here, you can put your laptop, magazines, things that you wanna kind of keep straight. So very little clever setup it's got going on in here. So my fifth tip, I feel like we're on five, maybe not. I probably should have planned out this video a bit better, but I am like literally packing this as we go along. Just be mindful when it comes to beauty bits because I always feel like I overpack this genre and then I get there and end up like not wearing foundation for the whole trip. So I tend to do one pouch that has liquids in, and then this little pouch here has things like cotton wool, flannels, a hairbrush, hairbands, sort of those kinds of things that are beauty related, but don't need to be restricted into a little pouch. So I find that just like two separate little vessels to put beauty things in is more than enough. Oh, and my final beauty tip is to buy things on the other side, which sounds a bit ominous, but things like insect repellent, SPF, things that you might need in sort of bigger containers than 100 mils, especially if you're going away for a couple of days, get them at the airport after you've gone through security. Also get it when you get to the destination. Like I'm pretty sure Athens is gonna have SPF. So I'm not panicking too much about bigger things that I need because I know that I can get them after security or just at the place that I'm going to. I've completely forgotten what tip we're on, but now I'm gonna talk about clothing, which obviously I love because this is like the epitome of capsule wardrobe. Like you have to go away with a limited amount of clothing and you've got to make it work. So I've just gone through underneath my wardrobe because obviously everything in my wardrobe is very autumnal and kind of wintry right now. So I just had to get a few of my summer bits, like this little number, out from under my bed. Oh, I love this carousel. But I feel like one way to restrict yourself so that you don't go too crazy is just to have half of your suitcase for all clothing. That is shoes, that is underwear, that's swimwear, that's pyjamas, that's gym gear, that's everything else you need if if that is viable for how long you're going i'm only going to be there for two full days and then two kind of half days on either side so once you put in like an airport outfit on each side there's not a crazy amount of clothing that i need and you've heard this one before but rolling it is the best way to go it's just the most space efficient way of packing your clothing and you can really push everything up and really press it down and it also helps with creasing as well which is good one thing I would recommend getting are these. I've never had these before. These are packing cubes. I bought these on a way as part of the Rashida Jones collection. They have some packing cubes. I love them. They match my suitcase. Such a loser, but I don't care. But they're actually really good just for being able to separate things. So I've got my underwear in one. I've got my shoes in one. So I just know that they're there. Know that they're not touching anything else, which is always good for the shoes. 
and just very easy to find. I also feel like with footwear, it's just worth being frugal with your footwear. I feel like I've gone on holiday with my girlfriends before and some of them have bought like five different pairs of shoes, six, seven, like a whole <laughs> array of shoes. And realistically, you probably only end up wearing maybe three pairs. I'd say you need like a comfy kind of trainer for anything touristy that involves a lot of walking that you're gonna be doing, also the airport. So I've got a pair of trainers that I'm gonna to wear to the airport. And then I've got two pairs of sandals, one for just kind of wandering around during the day, and then another pair that are a little bit more fancy for evening. But that's three pairs of shoes. Even that for four days, probably could have got away with two. If you haven't got a packing cube for it, then just pop your underwear in like any little spots that you can find. Like if you're taking boots, I've always like shoved a couple of pairs of pants down some boots. It makes for some interesting things on the other side when you forget that you've put your pants in your boots you're like what is that at the toe of my shoe but they're just kind of handy for popping like socks and whatever in spare spots that you have going on your suitcase and then also if you've got anything heavy so i'm thinking i might take my leather jacket with me just because i feel like in the evenings it might be good to kind of just throw over if it gets a little bit chilly or maybe like a little bit windy i don't know um that is way too big to fit into a hand luggage suitcase it's just way too big way too bulky for that so i'm actually going to wear that on the plane i've known people um, i've got a friend who actually moved to amsterdam and she literally wore like so much clothing she looked like joey from friends when he had all of chana's clothing on it was so funny she messaged us and she was like i'm wearing a towel as a scarf um, but hey she managed to get all that stuff to amsterdam <laughs> i've zoomed you in just so you can see this but if you do have a suitcase that has this function i highly recommend that you use it because you can see it's quite bulky I mean, I probably could have had a couple of less things in there. But at the minute, you can press it down like so. There you go. Already, that is going to be so much easier to pack. Um, and then on this side of the suitcase, I've left a bit of space here for all of my chargers and my camera and everything like that. There's a couple of things I can't pack till the last minute. But there you go. Oof. Easy peasy. I don't even need to sit on this. And it's still pretty light. Hopefully. One final tip that you can use wherever you are going, whatever type of luggage you are packing, is to keep a list of things that you still need to pack last minute. So I've got things like house keys, toothbrush, my purse, things that I still need for tomorrow that I just can't put in right now because I still need to use them. Um, my mum does this, it was so funny. <laughs> I went around there at the weekend and obviously she was away in Rome and she had this little list, I was like, there you go. That is where I get it from. We are both so Virgos. But thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something. If not, I'm sorry that I rambled, but hey, I packed my suitcase, so it was a productive little 45 minutes, I would say. But thank you for watching. Do check out my blog post that I put up today that has like 10 extra tips to make your next trip run real smooth. There'll be like no airport meltdowns if you follow those tips. So check that out. Let me know what you think. If you're going away soon, then safe travels. And I will see you on Wednesday, the brand new vlog. Bye.